Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Cast TV. Hope you're all doing well. I'm still here in very, very sunny Poland. We've just finished the show at Alt Race and we are linking up with this super, super cool Porsche 997 behind me. We will show you how wide this thing is in a minute. Sit back and enjoy the episode. Guys, I'm here with Sebastian. What's going on, dude? Hey, man. Thank you very much for giving us the time to go over this insane car that you've just built. Yeah. Here at Alt Race, it's been one of the standout cars for me and I think a lot of other people. Yeah. Uh, tell me about it. It's, uh, it's obviously 997, but it's, uh, it seems to have grown a little bit. Yeah, it's uh, my redesigned uh, vision of a 997, 911. The, the whole project took over three, three years to, to be built, to be redesigned and uh, it wasn't easy, the road was really bumpy, but thankfully we are at the show with the finished car. The thing looks absolutely insane, I think you will all will agree. It's just, I've never seen a 997 this wide, with a wide arch kit that isn't riveted. No, so it's like, no, no, no. talk to me about the kit and, and why you wanted to make a 997 so wide. My main idea was to uh, make something that could be made by uh, Porsche itself and uh, keeping the line smooth it really it does was, look that was, way. wasn't easy uh, especially with the front because uh, a wide wide uh, uh, rear is uh, is already wide enough sure, sure. Uh, but but the, the front was a bit problematic so we were focused on it uh, also i was uh, i wanted to keep the car uh, without any uh, uh, Connected uh, places. So yeah, it, lo it looks like a. It's from. It looks like it's out of Porsche. So it looks okay, like a yeah, stock body yeah, car. Yeah. So what is the car? What's the base? It's yeah. a, obviously a Porsche 997. Yeah. Uh, what, what model is it? Yeah, it, it, it was a stock Carrera S. Uh, we have uh, tuned it a bit, so it's a bit uh, more powerful. But uh, I was mainly focused on the looks. Uh, as like I said, uh, the idea was to uh, keep it smooth and classy and uh, I wanted to uh, bring some uh, old school touches to it. I do see those elements that I've yeah. seen in much mm -hmm. older cars. Yeah. Firstly, the wheels, obviously they're the Fuchs style, but they're rotiforms. Exactly. So a modern ca twist ca on ca Custom made uh, Fuchs uh, rotiforms, uh, 12 inches uh, are, on the front, uh, crazy. Uh, 14 on the, the, 14 the back, on 14. The uh, and with lip sizes. Seven, seven inches uh, lips, seven both inch. on front and, uh, and wow. the end. So it's a, it's a huge wheel. You had ordered your rotiforms, but hadn't built the wide body kit yet. Yeah. So I think what you did was you you got the wheels and built the kit to the car, am I right? Uh, exactly. It's my first big build, so uh, right now I know it was a mistake. Uh, it would be much easier to build the body and then to yeah. order the uh, perfect fitting uh, wheels. Uh, I did uh, another way. Uh, I firstly cut the fenders, bought the wheels and then built the body over it. Uh, it was really hard at some points. Uh, the, the main reason was uh, the, the problem with uh, front wheels and turning. Right. <laughs> the yeah, car yeah, was yeah. completely undrivable. Yeah. Uh, so uh, it was the, the, the biggest issue I had on my way. Uh, but I, like but, I can but see, you solved it. You got yeah, over it. I solved you got it. Over it. The car came to Wrocław to Alt Race on its wheels. So again, with the retro touches, you obviously got the wheels. Is there okay. what's going on in the back? I see like a ducktail spoiler going on. This design uh, was in older Porsches. I wanted to uh, continue this uh, this, this look. So looks awesome. uh, the, the ducktail was completely redesigned by us. Uh, there are uh, nine and eleven spokes, exactly the same like in newer Porsches. So uh, it's like combining the old school look and the new and new the new school, school ideas. Yeah, it works. I have to say it works really well. You guys, drop nice. a comment. Let me know what you think. Do you think? I'm loving all the little retro touches. It really looks good. Yeah. Um, thank what you. about? So there's obviously you've designed all this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in the bumpers. Uh, the, the bumpers are actually based the on uh, GT3 bumpers. Yeah. Uh, but uh, obviously redesigned with really small touches. Uh, to be honest, for the first glance, it might look uh, a bit similar to GT3, mm. but uh, every single uh, piece was redesigned. So wow. everything is custom wow. made. Everything is completely new. 
the, the whole kit contains like uh, 15 panels, 15 elements. Uh, so uh, as for stock panels, there's the, the roof, the bonnet and the doors. Everything else wow. is, is custom that's, that's made. A, so basically I have designed the whole car. Insane. And I really like the, uh, what you've done with the Indecent. So Indecent is your brand. For yeah. The wide body kit. Yeah. At some point, uh, I was getting a lot of uh, good feedback uh, from from the build progress, and uh, I thought, well, maybe let's do this some other way and uh, prepare for for sale it uh, further. So let's and make it available for anyone. Yeah. Yeah. So at this point, I have decided to uh, to make some name for it, and uh, indecent looks it's like. It's a great name. I think it's a great name. <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comments. Indecent. <laughs> so that's gonna. Because this is a car that's going to probably upset quite a few Porsche and few Yeah, it, it already did. Uh, not as much as I, I, I was expecting, but uh, uh, as you can know, as, as you know, uh, the Porsche purists don't like uh, uh, modified cars. Of course, uh, they want everything to be stock and kept stock. And I completely did, did something the different. Opposite. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So not only is it probably one of the widest 997s you'll ever see. Yeah, it, it's on air suspension as well. running LF 3P management, which is awesome to see. It's a great system. And yeah, does I'm thrilled like with it, how, how easy it works. And the one thing I like about it also, uh, man after my own heart, is you're running arch tulip fitment all around, which looks okay. insanely okay. cool. Very, it's very it's cool. old, old school style. Of I, uh, every, every of my car uh, was fitted this way. It's great to finally meet him because I've been following him on Instagram for many, many years, probably when the original alt race racism shows yeah. started yeah. and you had a BMW E34 wagon. Yeah. We'll uh, throw up a picture because you'll you'll see where the inspiration or how he's led to this yeah. because it was also yeah. very, very low the, on the, some very wide step. lips. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it was such a cool car and that, that's actually inspired my BMW at the moment. Later on, a few years ago, we saw your Dodge Viper. So we had a Dodge yeah. Viper, again on rotiform wheels and it was crazy. Exactly. Low. The same the same kind of fitment, tight fitment, mm -hmm. it was static. Uh, uh, that car was incredibly low because the uh, front clearance was only six millimeters. <laughs> so uh, it was constantly touching ground. Yeah. Uh, I had to solve it because my wife hated it so much. <laughs> she was actually crying when yeah, we were yeah. driving this car yeah. together. And let's talk about the finish. So to a lot of people, especially if you're only looking at it on Instagram or online, will think it's painted because yeah. it's actually wrapped, right? Uh, I was uh, thinking for a long time what to do with the paint and uh, all uh, wrapping materials I have seen before were kind of disappointing for yeah, me. 100%. When I first saw uh, the Innozatec uh, by my own eyes, I was so stunned. I knew that's the only way I would uh, go. So uh, I reached out to, to, to Greg from Innozatec and uh, yeah, the, the material is amazing. Yeah, I, uh, you probably can't see it on the camera guys, but I have to say, when I walked past it earlier, I, re I did think it was paint. It's really that good for a wrap. Yeah. I've obviously, I've seen a lot of wrap cars as well, yeah. and they often look quite poor. Yeah. So this is pretty damn good for a wrap car. It's very close to original uh, signal yellow yes. uh, color. And uh, obviously I wanted something a bit more flashy, mm. uh, more bright. Also, there's uh, many uh, panels that are black. So sure. uh, I wanted them to pop a little bit more. So contrasting color, bright color, uh, I thought it would be a nice idea and to be honest, I'm 100% satisfied with the outcome. I can't stop looking at the interior either. It's like what we said earlier, you're mm -hmm. trying to put some uh, retro touches yeah. into a modern car. Guys, yeah. check out the interior. Let's go inside. Let's have a look. So first thing off the bat, I've noticed is your seats and your door cards have all been retrimmed. Yeah. And to me, this reminds me of a classic 911. Exactly. That was also my idea. Uh, I did uh, reupholster the, the whole interior. The or original car had wow. uh, the, the trim inside was silver, and it was it looked really outdated. Yeah. So uh, all the trims are now black. A, yeah. They, they really are painted. Cool. Um, uh, steering wheel is also uh, changed from a newer model 911. Yeah. Uh, 991 actually and uh, so I've also it, noticed your uh, the gauges as well are yellow yeah which are very uh, very cool. gauges and seat belts yellow seat, seat belts, belts as well. are all, wow. also also custom made very, for, very for, nice. for this car I think it works perfectly for that whole look you're trying to achieve with thank this car you. thank it, you does it really yeah. really nicely I wanted to mix 
uh, new ideas with, with old school looks. Yeah, super cool. And uh, obviously the whole, the whole bumper, this is all custom and part of the kit. Yeah, exactly bumper. like on the on the back. Wow. Uh, the the um, base uh, bumper was from GT3, uh, but we have redesigned it. The front lip is obviously also redesigned. The headlights, though, those lower headlights yeah. are completely custom made. It's not These something. Right here. Yeah, you can buy this piece. It's obviously based on a on a, a stock lens, but everything inside is custom Possibly made. Design. Just possible. All possible. made in Poland. Yeah, that's how they do things in Poland. Yeah. If you can't get it, they'll build it. They'll make it. Wow, incredible. So, Indecent is your company, your new, brand new company, so people can buy this kit now or order it from you? Yes, actually we have started taking orders like two weeks ago. Okay. Uh, we have uh, an incredible feedback from, from customers. Uh, we are already sold one body kit to the United States. Amazing. And we will be starting building the car in like the next two weeks. Oh, so, so we're gonna see a second car very, very soon. Yeah. That's exciting. Yeah, I'm so excited about it. Someone uh, building the car uh, on, based on my parts, designed by me, it's so super exciting yeah, for me. Sure and uh, the second car also will be in a bit different style. Like I said, uh, this was uh, meant to have this retro vibe mm. and the other one will be more street, like maybe racing road, focus. Yeah, yeah. Something like that. it will Some have bigger uh, tires. Yeah, much, much more meaty tires. Yeah, because obviously this is a bit more of a, a stance look car. Kit itself doesn't mean uh, that the car need to be stanced out. Sure. It uh, be, can be used in a many different uh, ways. So Amazing. if you want to race the car, but it must be a white body one, Amazing. no problem. It should be, it should, shouldn't be a problem. Well, I absolutely love car. Um, where can people find out about Indecent? Is it on Instagram? Is there a website? We are on the Instagram. It? We have the, our uh, website. Okay, guys, uh, we'll put a link in the description for that. So go check it all out. If you've got a 997 and you fancy doing something crazy, hit him up, because yeah. I'm sure he'll love to build another please one. Please do, please do. And uh, yeah, insane. Car man, my last question for you, for you is: me. What's the next car going to be? Because this is done. I know you're always thinking yeah. about the next car. <clears throat> I'm, I'm thinking uh, if the, this one sells, I'm thinking about doing a convertible one, and hopefully after that, a uh, crazy turbo one. Ooh, so <laughs> that, yeah. that's going to be cool, guys. What do you yeah. think? Should you do a turbo? Drop a comment and let us know about that. Anyway, Sebastian, thank you so much. Thanks, man. It's been great to talk about this awesome build. Check him out on Instagram, and yeah, if you've enjoyed the content, guys, please remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Keep us growing and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. So I'm here with Sebastian. Sebastian, how are you doing, man? I'm doing good. Do it again. <laughs> give, give, me, give me a fist bump. Don't leave me hanging, man. <laughs>